Hello all, this is a quick video of the PM Research number one boiler and um, I've been wanting to build a steam yarder for my yard to pull logs, little sticks and stuff around the yard and have rigging and um, I'm already started to work, I've already started to work on the gears a bit and got the gear cutter set up and all that but um, I think the hardest part is the boiler and I think not just building but just the engineering side of it and I thought for my first try I'd try to build something properly engineered with the right materials and um, a good set of drawings which these are excellent and um, the parts actually come um, quite a bit of the work's already been done they've done the end caps and the flue holes um, the castings you got to do yourself which I enjoy doing I love just sitting there with a file. Some people don't, but that's what I like to do. Um, if you have a Sureline lathe, this part here can be turned down to fit the tube. This part can't, but if you do have a mill, you can flip the, the mill head 90 degrees, have this turn chucked up on the, on, um, on your four jaw chalk or whatever, and run your cutters on the XY. If you wanted to, that's probably what I'm going to be doing. Um, comes with your flue tubes, raw materials, um, a door. Um, the cool part I like about this is they give you W1 steel um, that you can heat treat and temper after you've done the tools. And the tools that you make, that you would make on the lathe, are for um, your riveting, which I'm also looking forward to. That should be pretty neat. Um, making all your own tools. Um, also, it comes with a tool for expanding the, the tubes, which I was a little worried about, but I was really pleased to, to see that they had included that with the kit. Um, and then also, oftentimes the fittings, I thought I'd have to set a two degree taper for doing all my pipe fittings, but they actually came with all the pipe fittings that you silver solder onto there for the steam output, the water input, and the water gauge, which it comes with. Um, here's a silver solder. Another thing I like is that they give you the right stuff that it was engineered for. So, And most importantly, the pressure relief valve set to 60 PSI. Um, and some fuel. And then some little extras I got. Um, I can bend 90 degree tubing, but um, they've got some nice T-fittings that you can cut out and solver solder on your own. I went and got a gauge so that I could do the hydrostatic test for it. Um, and they've got instructions to how to do all of that, um, the values and the pressures, everything. Um, and then on the side, I thought this was pretty cool. They've got made in the USA bronze casting for a, for a water pump. And it doesn't come with the kit, but these, these items here I got extra. I might be getting a few little bits and pieces um, in addition to that, but that's where that at, where the word that's at, and um, this I thought was a great idea too. They've got a boil, boiler shell drill template, and you just glue that onto your to your can and go to town with the match drilling and riveting. Um, and then, yeah, I'm looking forward to maybe to shooting some video. I haven't found anybody maybe brave enough to take it on and put it on video. I've seen several examples on YouTube, but I might try to post some video on how I build it. And thanks for watching.